In this video, we are going to study multiple linear regression in Python using Jupyter Notebook. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice included within it. Ok, so let's go into the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So the first step is we need to add a new cell below. To do so, we click on this button of insert cell below. Then we continue with the first step, which is that we need to import the corresponding package. Therefore, we're going to comment this as step one, package. And we're going to import statsmodels.api as sm. So we're importing that feature from stats models for data downloading. Also, we're going to import stats models dot formula dot API as SMF, and we're importing that feature from stats models for our multiple linear regression calculation. To run this code lines or this cell, we can either click run button or press shift enter on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For this, we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object equals to SM feature from stats models dot datasets dot get underscore R dataset. And we open parentheses. The first parameter, which is data name equals to house prices comma package equals to AER and cash equals to true. So what we're doing here is we are downloading house prices object from our package AER and with cash equals to true means that when we download the data it saves it locally so we don't need to go ahead and download it every time we run the code. Notice that this downloads data and documentation within house prices object. Therefore, we continue with the following row in which we create a new object named house prices. And this one is going to be equal to house prices underscore object. And we get it's a data attribute. So in this case, only the data. We want to visualize part of this data. Therefore, we do so with the following code line, which is print and from house prices data object with dot i lock, which means integer location, and within brackets, semicolons means that we're selecting all the rows, comma, from columns zero to three, meaning the first three columns of data with Python notation. Dot head method, so this will print the head of that data frame. So again, to run this code lines, we can go ahead and press shift enter on the keyboard. And we can see right here, printing of part of that data frame. So we see the first five rows of data and the first three columns of price, lot size, and bedrooms. If you want to read the full documentation on this data, you can do so with the following code line, which is print and within parentheses from house prices underscore object, we get its dot two underscores doc, two underscores attribute with the documentation. And in this case, we press shift enter on the keyboard and there we have the full documentation. So now that we have the data ready, we can continue with the following step, step number three, which is the model. In this case, we're just going to press shift enter on the keyboard. And the reason for this is that before coding the model, we want to input the equation of this model. So in this cell, instead of being code, we're going to modify it and it's going to be marked down. And in this case, we'll be using latex notation. Therefore, we begin with two dollar signs and the equations is as follows. So we have hat price equals to hat beta zero plus hat beta one, which is multiplied by lot size, 
plus hat beta 2, which is multiplied by bedrooms. And we have the two dollar signs and we press shift enter on the keyboard. So there we have the equation. And as we can see, we have several hats here, and that's because they're estimates. Therefore, this equation reads as follows. The estimated price, which is equal to the estimated beta zero coefficient, or the estimated constant coefficient, plus the estimated beta one partial regression coefficient, multiplied by lot size, plus the estimated beta two partial regression coefficient, multiplied by bedrooms. So now we can continue with the coding of the model. For this, we're going to create an object named MLR, which stands for multiple linear regression, equals to SMF feature from stats models, dot OLS, which is ordinary least squares. And within it, we have the following parameters. First, which is formula, equals to, and within quotations, price. And with this special character means being explained by lot size, plus bedrooms, comma, data equals to the house prices object we created above. And then we fit this regression. And next we want to print the estimated coefficients. Therefore, we use print and within parentheses MLR object and we get its params parameter. So again, to run these code lines, we press shift enter on the keyboard or the round button. So we can see that it printed the estimated coefficients. Therefore, first we have the intercept coefficient, which is the estimated beta zero or constant coefficient. And that is the estimated price when both lot size and bedrooms are equal to zero. Then we have the lot size coefficient, which is the estimated beta one partial regression coefficient and that's the estimated change in price when lot size changes in one unit while keeping bedrooms constant. And last, we have the estimated bedrooms coefficient, which is the estimated beta 2 partial regression coefficient, and that is the estimated change in price when bedrooms changes in one unit while keeping lot size constant. So with this, we finished the code, so we can go ahead and save it. And with this, we finished this video. Thank you for watching.